Growing up with it, it was a struggle to be with the normal kids. It was difficult to do physical things at their level. That pushed me to want to just like take that extra step. Everything that is muscle memory to able bodies is not muscle memory to me. I have to think about something, and even then, sometimes it doesn't happen. I have to put like mental energy. I have to think about running. I have to think about my knees, my feet, my elbows, my hands, my head, my core. At the end of an intense day of working out, I'm more mentally exhausted than I am physically exhausted. Throughout my life, there have been multiple times where I've been like, why is no one understanding what I'm going through? I learned that while they may not get it, I'm not alone. There are other people that have gone through things like me. A lot of teen girls, they don't tell anyone when they're feeling alone. They kind of just disassociate with people. I knew that that feeling was something that I wish that I had someone older than me tell me that I wasn't the only one feeling left out or stuck in the middle. If someone was saying that they didn't feel like they were good enough, I would tell them to get their thoughts right out of their head because they are better than they think they are, whether they think it or not. As long as you remember to stay true to what you love and what you're doing, that you are good enough and you can do anything. If I was on the podium for the 2020 Paralympics in Tokyo, I think I would cry. Podium means that everything that I've been telling myself in training, everything I've been telling myself throughout all my life pretty much, it means that it works and that I really can do anything if I set my mind to it. And that I am good.